Hi, I'm Mike from Hackaday, and I'm here with Gus from CHIP. Uh, this is uh, an acronym, right? What does CHIP stand for? Uh, CHIP? We want to we want to find out what people think chip stands for. It's our little secret for now. Oh, really? You're not you're not telling people. We're not, we're not telling people yet. So you had a wildly successful Kickstarter. Congratulations! And it's because the hardware you build is uh, really revolutionary. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah. So we're uh, we're building a nine dollar computer called Chip here, which basically leverages uh, high volume components that are used in a lot of budget Android tablets. Uh, we put it into a single board computer that runs Debian Linux. Uh, and basically allows us to offer it for nine dollars. That's great. So the Debian Linux is like the package that you have available. Um, is like the kernel available if someone wants to build their own distribution around it? Correct. Yeah. This uh, we're the plan is to work with um, with all of our partners to make Chip very very open source, and we want to have the community engaged in as many of those development efforts as possible. Uh, we're doing our best with the valiant efforts of all of our kernel hacker backers and. These guys, uh, Winter and Alex, who's off somewhere, to try to stick to mainline Linux. So we're going to try to push all of our sort of drivers that we build in-house upstream, work with official partners to get things out. That's great. What about the uh, I.O.? So what do you have for connectors and what do you have for breakout? Yeah, so for official connectors, we have one full-size USB port, one on-the-go micro USB. We have a TRRS 8th inch or 3.5 millimeter mini jack that has composite video uh, right and left analog audio. And then we also have these two 40-pin headers on the sides, which break out parallel LCD, uh, CSI, which is camera serial interface. We have two UARTs. We have a uh, uh, SPI bus. We have I2C bus. We have eight GPIOs, one PWM line, and a bunch of power management stuff that also lets you charge from off-board, that sort of thing. Okay, so for me, like I was looking at um, displays and how to hook them up, and it, it's not complicated, but there's a few different options. Can you walk through that a bit? Sure, yeah. So the uh, the most hackerly level is actually connecting a parallel LCD, which is what we have here on Pocket Chip, okay. uh, directly to the pins. Those are being driven straight off of our processor. Um, or you can also put an adapter, like this VGA board, which takes that parallel LCD and adapts it uh, through, some, through some chips out to a VGA output so you can connect it to a standard monitor. So your options for output to monitors, composite through the headphone jack, VGA, HDMI, or attached LCD. Well, that's great. So if people wanted to make their own um, display boards, do you have like a spec already ready for them to develop? To yeah. Develop? Uh, so our source files and all of the sort of design details are going to be available as soon as the campaign is over. Uh, we want people to, to take this and run with it, take it further, see what else they want to build with it. And uh, and show us like you know what happens when the world has a nine dollar computer. Okay, that's that's sweet. And then I see this is like a completely you know side project. And I, I think you're going to just capture the hearts of so many people. This is like a, a playable computer, but it's got way more buttons and a huge screen. What tell us a little bit about that? Uh, so, Pocket Chip is the uh, is the the wonderful work of this man here, Thomas, and it's basically our our sort of uh, nod nod to the clicky key. PDAs of the past yeah, uh, nice. with a resistive touchscreen display, 16 million color uh, LCD TFT. Basically, it's a, a monitor and keyboard that chip pops into. Okay. It provides uh, power, something you can hold on to, and a breakout for the GPIOs. Makes it really easy to get started with chip, add sensors, build projects around it, all of that, and, uh, and have something that you can carry around in the world. Okay. That's awesome. So if people want to learn more about chip and all the stuff that's built around it, where can they go? Uh, right now, the Kickstarter. All of our info for, for Chip is collected on the Kickstarter. Okay. If you search for $9 computer, you find a lot of things about Chip. Sounds great. Well, thank you so much for showing it to us today. Yeah, thanks.